Hello, Arno from Creation Arts. I am glad today to be back and to be able to present to you guys a new extension that I've released. And why that extension? Because I've been browsing through the Quark forum and stumbled upon posts complaining about the Quark spell, Checker being a bit brittle, I'd say. So my idea, of course, as an extension developer was to solve that problem. So my idea was to wrap the hunt spell spell checker, which is quite the sturdy standard when it comes to spell checking engines. And also one of the good thing is it's available in many different languages. So wherever you from, you'll be able to find the language that suits your needs. I'm going to post this link inside the description of the video. So um, you could go through um, these dictionaries, they are available from the Mozilla add-ons. And yeah, you can import all these dictionaries inside my extension and you will keep the Quark Express uh, dictionaries as well. So you can use both combined together. So this would add another layer of safety to solve your spelling mistakes. So uh, let's jump right in and first install the extension. A word of caution, the path to the extension in Quark Express 2017 has changed. I'm also going to post in the description the path for the new extension folder, which is this one. So it's inside user library, application support, Quark, Quark Express 2 2017, sorry, and extensions. Let's restart Quark Express. So what we're going to do, we're going to put to test the Quark Express player checker with a simple sentence and compare it to hunt spell. Just for the fun, I'm going to write some text in German. Um, what can I say? Ich heiße Arno. Ich bin Programmiere und 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 ich mag fein. Mag fein. Okay, um, probably made a mistake at Programmiere, but let's try to add a couple of other mistakes. Fein. And I'll program it. Let's, uh, remove the A. Okay. Okay, so let's just put to test the two engines with these two mistakes. See what they come up with. Okay, set the character language to German. Command option L and check the layout. So, yeah, I don't have the character because I don't have a German keyboard. So I don't have the double S character you would use, uh, which is this. Okay, so just replace it. Okay. So what we're looking for is Programmierer. And we have an A that's missing. And this one is closed, but uh, the end is off. We should have an I, R, E, R. R, sorry, I E R E R. That's what we have here. That's close, but the R at the end is missing, and all the other words are completely different. Okay, so Quark Express couldn't find what I wanted to write just because of this character missing. We'll see if Unspell has a fix for that. Let's skip that and go to the next one, which is fine. And let's see if I the went, of course not. Wings. Okay, so the word I wanted is fine, but it's not in the list. So once again, no luck with the Quark Express engine. Let's shift to Handspell and see if it's any better. To change to hand spell, you go to utilities, check spelling, spell check engine, and choose hand spell. Okay. 
Okay, so we're back with the former project. So with the spell checker engine, you set the language from the menu bar. You go to language. Okay, so it's already set to German. We're good to go. Spell check engine, hand spell. And command option L. And once again, it comes up with this issue. So with this fix, which is just a wrong character, I don't know if that's supposed to be accepted or not. I'm going to replace it anyway. Doesn't like my first name either. I'm going to replace that. And let's go to Programmier and boom. First option is the right one with a capital letter, which is actually what we want. So that's perfect. I'm going to replace that. Then we go to Vine. And, and, and third option is the right one. Replace. Spelling check is complete. And we're good to go. Of course, that was a very really small test, but um, these two mistakes uh, were not picked up with uh, the Quarky Spell Spell Engine. With hand spell, not only the, the right words were inside the list, but they were at the top of the list. Like Programmierer was the first option, and Vine was the third one. Uh, so, which is awesome. That's what you want. And yeah, that pretty much uh, demonstrate uh, the power of uh, hand spell spell checker. And now you have it for Quark Express. Uh, second thing you have available with the extension is the Mac OS spell checker. And the only purpose, actually, yeah, if you go to Spell Check Engine, you have Unspell, Mac OS, and Quark Express. The Mac OS Spell Engine is working across your system and accessible in different applications, applications that do support this engine. If you choose to go with Mac OS, when you write text inside TextEdit, for instance, and you make some mistakes, you would have uh, auto correction options available. And I'm going to copy paste it inside Quark Express. And I'm going to switch to Mac OS, set the language to German. And this is the exact same correction that will come up inside TextEdit. Replace, go to the next one. Let's look at open. So as you can see, there is the exact same behavior across both applications. So this could be convenient depending on where you prefer to edit your text. If you just edit it inside Quark Express, then you may not need to go with the Mac OS and install dictionary system-wide. If you like to edit text inside other applications, then I recommend that you install your dictionaries system-wide, or at least the dictionary that you usually edit text with, and just stick to the Mac OS spell engine inside Quark Express with a spell checker pro. So that's what I wanted to highlight. Uh, why do we have these two different engines with the Spell Checker Pro extension? That's the purpose. So now I'm going to show you how you can add uh, new dictionaries to the Spell Checker Pro extension. Before you do, make sure that uh, this dictionary is not already available. The Spell Checker comes with the German, Spanish, English, United States, and English, United Kingdom, Polish, Italian, Norwegian, Deutsch, sorry, that's Dutch, not Deutsch, and Swedish, Danish, and French. If your language is missing, you go to the link I've provided, it should be this one, and we'll just pick one dictionary, let's pick Romanian, click install dictionary, download anyway. And, oh, and you have to actually change the extension to the zip file so we can uncompress it dictionaries these two makes one dictionary so you will always want to have these two files inside the extension folder so now there are two ways you can install this dictionary 
Remember when we used the macOS Spell Engine, we had the same dictionary working across a text edit and Quark Express. That was the exact same file being used. And you can do exactly the same with this Romanian dictionary. So if I want this Romanian dictionary to be accessible inside text edit, then you would want to install it inside the library, user library, sorry, and go to the spelling folder. There it is. And just drag and drop these two files. So now I have the Romanian dictionary available inside Textedis as well. But if you plan to only use this dictionary inside Quark Express, that were to be the case, then you would have to put it inside library application support dot com Krishna dot spell check and just drag and drop these two files inside this folder. So now the Romanian dictionary works only inside Quark Express. So it's up to you. How do you want to use these new dictionaries? Remember that the Spell Checker Pro extension is flexible. So that's about it for the Spell Checker Pro extension. To get it, refer to the link inside the description. Hope you like it. See you next time for a new extension. Enjoy the rest of the day and uh, see you next time.